Hello, I'm Heather Kahn. Do you think a medicine will help you get better, even if it has no active ingredients? There is some fascinating new research out right now about the incredible power of placebos. Joining me now is the gentleman who authored these studies, Professor Ted Katchuk. Thank you so much for being with us. Thanks for inviting me. Well, tell me first of all, what is a placebo? A placebo is a sugar pill, an inert substance that's used to hide or mask or blind a patient in a clinical trial to whether they're getting a real treatment or not. And what is a placebo effect? People say that the placebo effect is the positive benefits people receive when they're on placebo treatment. The problem with that definition, it doesn't make sense because how could something that has no effect have an effect? If it's an inert substance, it can't have an effect. So I would say a placebo not only hides real treatment, but hides the art of medicine, the caring for a patient. So a placebo is about the attention, the eye gaze, the warmth, the compassion, the confidence of the physician in a doctor-patient relationship. I would say that the placebo is about the symbols of medicine, like uh, the diploma on the wall, the prescription pad, mm -hmm. the stethoscope. I would say that a placebo is um, about the routine rituals, procedures of medicine, waiting in a doctor's office, talking, disrobing, being examined, putting back your clothes, getting a diagnosis, and then being prescribed pills, injections, or procedures. Ultimately, I think the placebo effect is about the imagination, hope and trust in the clinical encounter. You published a paper that had some surprising results, maybe even surprising to you. You found that patients getting a placebo did better, even when they knew that the pill they were taking was a placebo. Yeah, that was a, 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 we, we were really astonished by the finding, even though we were hoping for that finding. Um, as a placebo researcher, I, I look at how do we optimize a doctor-patient relationship, but I also look at the effects of just taking pills uh, without active ingredients. And one of the problems is that usually, and everyone believes that if you take, you have to have deception. You can't give a person a, a, a sugar pill. It won't work unless you tell them, oh, it's a real drug and it's very powerful. Mm -hmm. And because um, the ethics committee is always very careful with me, I said, well, let me get rid of this ethical barrier. Can we just give placebos and see what happens? Maybe people will still get better. So we randomized uh, a group of people to either open label but with irritable bowel syndrome, open label placebo. We, they, were, they were told on telephone to study about placebo. They were told that it was uh, the informed consent said you're going to be given a sugar pill, something like a sugar pill. Uh, they were explained it many times. The bottle said placebo on it. And half of them were randomized to that situation and half were to a no treatment control just to see what would happen. People get better by themselves, a tinkerer of time. And uh, in that study, um, people got significantly better on all four outcomes that are used in irritable bowel syndrome. Did you do anything differently for them, though, in the office, like spending more time with them? No, no, they, they actually, the randomization took place after we explained the entire trial, explained to patients why they might get better on placebo treatment, and at the last minute, literally, the envelope was torn open and it said, okay, you're assigned to the placebo pill or no treatment, and the physician in charge, Dr. Lembo at the Beth Israel Deaconess Medical Center, would say, uh, you're assigned to the placebo, great, and if there were no treatment, we'd say, uh, great, we really need you to stay in the study because we really need to have a scientific understanding of what happens. The study was small, so it's not conclusive, and it has to be replicated both in irritable bowel and maybe in other diseases. Why do you think the people got better? In that study? Yes. Um, all I can say is I can hypothesize why people got better because we don't have, we didn't do a mechanistic study. I th we built up expectations in the short encounter before we said people, there is a placebo effect in, in irritable bowel. Um, it doesn't have to be uh, means that you mentally have some problem. But actually, your body can respond the way Pavlov's dogs responded to a bell. The, um, that just being in a medical situation, some people would say it was positive expectations. Some people would say it was conditioning. I think it was just being in the environment and the context of the art of caring. It's, it, it's enough by itself without the active ingredient in some situations. Would you like to see fewer drugs prescribed in this country and, and more tender loving care, if you will? Um, I think we need more effective drugs and we need more tender loving care. We need more, uh, what we really need is to have the art of medicine 
become a partner with effective drugs, effective surgery, effective procedures. And our work is really trying to put that what's usually in the background, quantify it, figure out how to optimize it, understand its mechanism. So what lies ahead for your research? A lot of hard work. Um, I think that we're go we do, we have, we've done experiments in multiple different kinds of diseases. We want to do other diseases. Uh, we want to figure out ways of optimizing the art of medicine. What, is, what about the doctor-patient interaction is really pushing the placebo effect? That's critical for us. We want to do mechanistic studies. Uh, what is the neurobiology of it? Very important for us is, besides wanting to understand how to make the placebo big, on many of our experiments, we also try to shrink it as a comparison, and we are interested in being able to help develop the new pharmaceuticals uh, more easily, more efficiently, because the, sometimes detecting the difference between a drug and a placebo is, is difficult, because the placebo is high, so that's a big part of what we're doing. Um, I think those are some of what we're going to lie ahead. Finally, do you uh, wish that doctors had more time to spend with their patients? In this day and age, it seems that they're always complaining about a lot of paperwork. I think that um, it would be really great if, if healthcare providers had more time to be with their patients, but I want to say placebo effects probably aren't very dependent on time. A good doctor asking, and how is your mother doing, or how's your kid doing, can be, that can be done in one 15 seconds, and that has a profound effect on a patient. But this person knows me, cares about me. That's, that activates some of our self-healing. Hmm. Professor Kapcha, great to have you with us. My pleasure, Heather. Really fascinating stuff.